Yo, I see somebody here being wild, disrespectful, man. One second, sis. For one second, sis. Give me one second. Hey, yo, boss man. I see you in here. Look, you kind of sounding crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. And yeah, I'm gonna call you out because I know he was like three. Don't give him what he want. I gotta give him what he want. Dog, knock it off, my nigga. This ain't the, this ain't the live to come, come over here and shit on nobody today. We not doing none of that dumb shit today, bro. How you doing, sis? Hey, it's, I'm overwhelmed like everybody else. Mm. Um, and I did want to see if it's possible if I could just say a prayer for the culture. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just think that there's, there's a, a need for love and also understanding that there's a, a higher power at work that mm. um, we either feed into or we um, or we help lift up to our highest vibration. So I just want to offer a prayer. Yes, ma'am. So Lord most Lord. wonderful and most high God, we just come to you as humbly as we know how to celebrate the life of our brother, God. God, we ask God, while we try to make sense of everything that's going on, that you comfort those who loved him, God. Not just the ones that knew him, God, um, personally, but God, but the millions of people, God, who felt like they knew him by watching him perform. For indeed, when you know artists, God, and you made the artists an artist, God, you know they did it, God, for the roar of the crowd. So we thank you, God, for allowing our brother to be able to tap into that very special space where he could actually hear the people love him. But right now, God, I ask right now that you touch his family, you touch his, his, his offspring, God, and we ask that you touch those who, who knew him inside and out, those who had multiple hour conversations with him on the phone and those who understood and was able to cry with him when, when, when he was not doing well and wasn't being appreciated like he thought that he should or those who were able to celebrate with him, God, when he would win his, his most toughest opponents, God. So we ask God that you take those people and you hug them, God, and you keep them in a very special way, God. God, I also want to pray for our community, God, a community that actually thrives in violence, God. God, I ask that you just remove it, God, for a season so that we can see, God, that if we walk in our highest vibration, God, the tragedies like this might not happen, God. For this is senseless, God. This is senseless, God. It makes no sense, God, for someone to have taken someone so special, so precious, God. Help us understand your way, God. Help us understand how some people are protected and some are not. God, I ask God as we as we try and push through this season, God, that you allow us to look at ourselves and see if we're a part of the solution or we're a part of the problem. God, I ask right now as we look at ourselves, how do we treat each other when we see each other? It's one thing to mourn people when they go, but do, do we treat them? that you have done over and over again with, with your son, Pat, stay. Whenever someone was able to see him, he treated them with respect. He treated them with honor. He, he looked at people as human beings, God. So let us learn from his life, God, so we can move, move in grace, but also move in harmony in a space that is filled with violence. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Nick, I love you, girl. You hear me? I love you more, brother. You know anything you need at any given time. You just call I know me. that, sister. I know that. I know that. Listen, right. Nikki, you part of this culture. You be outside and everything. Um, what's your interaction with past day? <sighs> the, my very first time, like, engaging him. Because, you know, I've seen him around a lot. And, mm -hmm. you know, we have spaces a lot together. But mm -hmm. one of my writers at The Source had um, m multiple um, dystrophy. So he was handicapped and he was ma he made it to an rbe event right mm. and um he was like i just want to just want to meet him i just want to talk to him i'm afraid because <laughs> you know he he had cane like not a cane but like walking stuff to, to get around he couldn't he couldn't maneuver mm. and i was like pat i want you to meet this this young brother right and pat spent like a good 15 20 minutes talking to this kid that he didn't even know and making him feel like he was a part of the culture and not like he was, you know, that just kind of got put, you know, because people take you and you put you in the corner and, and all of that. He didn't treat him that way. And that 